Hey y'all, it's Mars, back again with another story time animation. After accidentally deleting this animation while trying to save space on my phone, I just had the frame sitting around and I was like, why not do something with these? And that's why I'm here today. I had like no motivation the last few days but school is starting in a few days. Less than three days to be exact. I'm going into my last year of school. I got March and May practice the day after. I'm taking college level class. Like, I ain't gonna have no time for nothing. I already scheduled videos to be posted for like the next two weeks because shit, like, I ain't gonna have time to do nothing, so. Anyways. Let's get into the video because I know y'all saw the thumbnail and y'all are like, whoa, you almost died? Like, what happened? Did you heart stop beating during surgery? Did you get run over a quiet car? And my answer to you on those questions is no. The thing that actually almost croaked me was something called the fainting challenge. And y'all might be like, what the f is the fainting challenge? Like, I know people doing dumb all the time but like what is the fainting challenge and let me explain to you so a few years ago teenagers decided that it might be kind of fun if they cut off their air supply or cut off their friends air supply to the point where they lose consciousness you know just for fun and games and you might be like that sounds dumb as fuck. and yes it is dumb as fuck. but People used to eat Tide Pods for fun. Like, what do you expect? Instead of me deciding to do the fainting challenge because, oh, my friend said it was gonna be fun or something, I decided to do it because, well, I had just never fainted before. And for my Curious George type ass, like, if I haven't done anything before, like, that just makes it fun in itself, the fact that I haven't done it. So I was bored home alone and decided why not cut off my air supply for a few seconds because that might be fun. And I do not know how dumb the people watching my videos are, but do not take this video and say, oh, Mars told me to do it. No, Mars did not tell you to do this dumb ass So don't do it. I was like 14, nigga. I was dumb as fuck. But anyways, now that I got the disclaimer out of the way, I began to search up methods to make myself faint. And I had actually tried to make myself faint before because I happened to be a sufferer of insomnia. And I was under the impression as a little kid that if I could get myself to faint, it could be a get to sleep quick hack, and it does not work that way. But eventually I stumbled upon this fainting tutorial that was different from the rest. And the way this one went is that first you should Breathe in deeply, in and out, 10 times. Then you should quickly stuff your finger in your mouth while like blowing on it. And then you should just like stand up. So I decided to try this method. And surprisingly, it worked. By the time I was done taking 10 deep breaths, I was already feeling a little lightheaded. By the time I put my finger in my mouth, like all I remember is like static forming around my vision and before I could even say, yo, what the f I was out. And you might've thought that, oh, I just went straight out and came to a little bit after, but no, I think I transported myself into the void because when I woke up, um, which I don't think I actually woke up, I was like just in this really, really dark void and it felt like I was like holding on to something and then all I remember is like, the first thing that clicked in my mind is, I died and I'm going to hell. I don't know why I thought I was going to hell, possibly because of the fact that I was in a completely dark void and I was being dragged down. But like, as soon as I thought I was going to hell, I just started panicking. I was like, God, please don't take me to hell. Don't take me to hell. I don't want to die. I'm not ready to die yet. And I was just like frantically praying to God, like, please don't make me go to hell. I'm not ready to die yet. 
and it just felt like I was being sucked down to this vortex. Like y'all know them rides that go around, they call it Gravitrons. Like when they start going around really fast, like you can barely move anymore, but you're like spinning so fast it pins you to the wall, then eventually like sends you up in the air. Yeah, that's what it felt like. But it felt like I was out of Gravitron that was sucking me down into the, the abyss of hell. And let me just say, that is scary. Y'all don't try this challenge. I think I was actually about to go to hell or something. But eventually after frantic praying for what felt like hours to my like unconscious mind, uh, I think I woke up. But like when I woke up, I didn't come to full like cognitive function immediately. So like, I remember like putting my head up and all I remember saying is like, I don't want to trigger my Alexa. But let's so let's replace the word Alexa with Tex-Mexa. So I was like, Tex-Mexa, uh, call 911. And I don't know if I said this out loud or not, but I think I might have. Um, and I also called out to my mom as well, who wasn't in the house. I was like, Tex-Mexa, call 911. Because I did not remember anything that I had done to myself. All I remember was that, like, I had just knocked out. And I didn't know why I knocked out. I just was, like, completely gone. But, like, I could only imagine, like, if I had actually called 911, how that encounter would go. Like, the police just breaking in my door. And they were like, 911, what's your emergency? And I'm just like... Um, I tried to make myself faint, and now, like, I don't know what happened. And then the police are just like, all right, sounds fair enough. But anyways, like, after that, I think I fainted again or something, but it was like true fainting, not the locked-in syndrome type fainting I had had before. And then I remember I actually came to, and for a little bit, I was a little bit disoriented. And I just remember being like, what the happened? And then I just look over at my computer and I just see this like tutorial on how to faint. And then suddenly everything just comes back. And I'm just like, oh, that's what happened. But anyways, um, I think that's the closest thing I've ever had to a near death experience. Like I remember I told my mom about this later and she was like, yeah, you probably did almost die. And you probably actually were going to hell. Um, but yeah, that just like made me get a little bit closer to Christ and and like a little bit more careful about life. I, I don't actually know what really happened and why I didn't knock out completely and instead um, thought I was going to the afterlife. But yeah, y'all don't do stupid shit, especially when you're alone. Like, at least have your buddy next to you so if something happens, you can like, have him call 911 or something. Because kids have actually died from the And there was this one like news article where this kid had obviously hung herself, trying to kill herself. And they were like, oh, she was doing the fainting challenge and that's why she's died. Like, no, your daughter was suicidal. That's what happened. But anyways, um, uh, I guess like and subscribe for another video. Um, I'm gonna go do something else now. Actually, I'm just recording voice lines. I actually have to animate all the before Monday because that's when I go back to school. And I'm not trying to screw up my senior year like I did my junior year. Like, man, they have me mentally breaking down. And but anyways, um, stay tuned for the next one. I might actually make more animated stories. So like if y'all got any suggestions, put them in the comment section below. I did want to do one about my experience with the old Waffle House. I mean the um, Apostle House. I'm not trying to get sued. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.